Yeah, you probably know my thoughts on on that. Not a fan at all. All right, here we go. Time to cast. In the bottom right-hand corner of the map, it's the Red Terran Skellis. I almost wanted to say Skrillex. His opponent, the recent addition to the DoD clan. Expecting big things out of this dude. It's the Blue Zerg Exile. I almost just fast forwarded again, by the way. I'm just, I'm still in analysis mode. Need to put on my caster hat. My caster cap. Doing just about the only things right now that I can do this early in the game. Not much to talk about. We have a Rax first, not a Gas. Whoa, in fact, not only do we not have a Gas first, we actually have a really late Gas for Terran. So this naturally should be... Oh my goodness. I was going to say this naturally should be a Marine build and not any kind of Reaper build. Reapers are... Reapers are not going to be in play here. If they are, they will be really late, and I actually I, I don't know why he's getting gas. With proxying this, by the way, this was scouted by Exile, so good job there. Uh, spawning pool is just on the way now, but yeah, there's not even close to enough gas to support production off of two barracks. So this is a marine, uh, a bunker rush. Uh, Half-proxied marine rush, but with gas being mined, which actually takes away from the mineral income, as we can see there. And a gigantic supply block. So, Exile is pretty much just going to slap this guy across the face multiple times. Whoops, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the guy is kind of slapping him. Skellis, that is, uh, when I say the guy. Excuse me, I'm quite tired. But, um, Skellis is basically slapping himself, too. So, he went with a bunker rush, but he was mining gas. A, a marine bunker rush, that is. He only proxied one of the barracks, and then he supply blocked himself, so he actually couldn't even make units. So this was literally a bunker rush with no marines. And he's still trying to make bunkers, and I actually didn't even uh, see this. He added another... Another... <laughs> he added another barracks just to lift it off and send it home. <sighs> and he's still supply blocked at 23. He's still supply blocked at 23. Heck yeah, you, I, I will take that. You're right, you're damn right about that. Both of you. would much rather be compared to her than him. <laughs> okay. The, uh, uh, I, I wish I could see the stats for this game, because that had to be a two-minute supply block. It had to be. Take a look at resources lost. It's literally a perfect defense from Exile so far. I, I try my best not to be a condescending jerk when I cast any replay. Sometimes, though, you just have to wonder what on earth the player is thinking. Not gonna call him any names, not gonna... yeah. I, I don't think I have to, I just, like I said, I just have no clue what the, uh, what the player was thinking, and this is platinum level? That, that's, uh, that's why I'm, 
I'm as confused as I am. Because, you know, bronze and silver, people are just figuring out the game. Already at gold, you, you know how to play the game. You're, by definition, an average player. So if you're in platinum... And you're, you know, you're, you're doing this. That's kind of, we'll just say strange. But anyway, Exile is, uh, is macroing up here. He's getting his lair. Bit of a rough supply block. It's going to be relieved now with these overlords popping. But yeah, lair is complete. Baneling Nest is complete as well. Drone count is relatively low. For where it would be normally at this time in the game but he also had to defend this bunker rush and it was literally a bunker rush it was not a marine bunker rush he was rushed by bunkers with no marines in them and exile took them out without losing a single unit he is uh lost i believe that was yeah that was a uh, an overlord but that was not during the rush So I'm pretty curious to see how Skellis plays in the normal phase of the game. May, you know what? It, it could be that he is uh, one of those players who usually plays normal games and sucks at cheesing. And, you know, believe it or not, that's, that is a thing. Usually it's the reverse. Cheesers just cannot play normal games. Nine times out of ten. And most of the time, people who... Oh, this is not good for Exile, by the way. Engaging into this choke point is not good at all. Even if you were to kill all of these Marines, he wouldn't have enough left over to do too much. But, um... Usually, if you can play macro games well, uh, it's a lot easier to learn how to cheese. It's not, it's not really tough. But, um, every once in a while, like, there are some players who... They're just not good at cheesing. Uh, they, they play the normal games well. They... They macro well, but they just, they don't, for whatever reason, they don't have the, like, the super aggressive instinct, that sense that when you make your units, it's like, these are the units I made, I have to win the game with these and nothing else, because I am not going to set myself up economically. But yeah, you, you, do, you do have to have that mindset, or be able to adopt that mindset. Sometimes, macro players uh, can be bad cheesers, but like I said... More often than not, if you can macro, you can usually cheese at least reasonably well. But this is all to say I'm trying to give Skellis here the benefit of the doubt to sort of explain why that was quite possibly, um, certainly in Platinum League and, and above, that was actually the worst executed cheese I think I've, I, I've ever seen. But... Thinking and hoping, uh, thinking that he might be and hoping that he is better at macro play. <laughs> Should have counterattacked with an overlord rush. That would have been the equivalent. Naka, that actually reminds me of the Pegasus rush in Age of Mythology. Great, uh, great vision here, as usual, by Exile. And I'm going to point this out in every single one of his games that I cast. I never get tired of seeing it. Just does such a, such a good job with his map vision. And I know I've I've said this before. Uh, a lot of the Zergs that I play, even in uh, in Master League, don't do this good of a job with their map vision. Now, with that being said, we uh, do need to see some creep spread start here. That can be a, a big problem. The natural is disconnected from the third. Skellis is pushing out with a triple drop. He does have plus one attack. Uh, he's getting plus one armor now. Stim is just finished, but holy crap. Great pickoff. And by the way, how was Exile able to get that pickoff? Well, he was able to get it because he has vision to almost this entire side of the map. So he sees the medevacs coming in, sends his mutilus over, and kills that. Now, a lesser zerg could very well have been taken by surprise and sustained serious damage. Even though Exile is way ahead right now, that would be one way that Skellis could get back into the game if he were to, uh, to get off a huge drop like that. But map vision and map awareness really come through for Exile. He's killing 
uh, killing a turret here, which is going to allow him to continue with some damage. Doesn't want to engage into these Marines. You want to harass, annoy, but don't commit. Planetary at the third. Not every day you see that. There it is. Oh my goodness. Double Widowmine shots into turret follow-up. That hurts a lot. Exile is still significantly ahead. But it definitely hurts to lose mutilisks like that. Uh, interestingly enough, we actually have roaches in play. Uh, I was not paying attention to the production tab. My apologies. But roaches in play here. For exile. So he went from the uh, Ling Muta. Haven't been too many Banelings from what I've seen. But basically Ling Muta straight into Roach Ravager. Fourth base coming down for Skellis. He's got lots of Widow Mines. Decent bio count. He does have his 1-1, one, one, but his, uh, his armory is very delayed. And that is going to heavily delay his 2-2. Two, two. It looks like Exile wants to attack into the third base. I think that is a good idea. He's going to have to be careful. Here with how he engages into that planetary and also have a, a small squad of bio waiting to jump in as well. But Exile does have superior numbers. First Widow Mine shot goes off. Second one does not just yet. It will hit a roach if it gets off at all. In fact, it does not. Planetary not doing too much work yet. Exile is doing a good job of not staying too long within range of the planetary. Needs to back off now. And Skellis is actually pushing back the Ravagers. One problem here for Exile is that he's not spending his bank sufficiently. Uh, he is going up into his 2-2. It's going to be significantly ahead of the 2-2 of Skellis. In fact, plus 2 armor is still not being researched. Nope. I want this. There it is. Is there a second engineering bay? There is not. So there's going to be a huge upgrade advantage for Exile. Uh, Makar have asked me what I consider doing punishment exercises. I've done that many times, actually. Um, but yeah, I like uh, it's actually not a bad idea. With Brogue, we could do a an exercise punishment challenge match for a series. I would definitely do that. So it looks like Skellis now wants to push across the map. Unfortunately for him, he's going to run into a superior upgraded, uh, superiorly upgraded Roach Ravager force, which the, even if they were on equal supply, would uh, would certainly go to Skellis, even if they were on, or I'm sorry, would go to Exile, even if they were on equal upgrades, this fight would still go to Exile. The reason is you cannot fight Roach Ravager at low supply counts. You do not want to trade with it. At all. Uh, these forces should be dropping and nothing else. Widow Mines do get some shots off, but again, against Roach Ravager, they are not effective. As we can see there, uh, they don't even one-shot a Roach. Exile doing a good job landing the Biles, taking out the Widow Mines, and I think he should be in position here to push for the win. With the 2-2 complete, uh, repair does go down. It's not going to be nearly enough. And the small force of Bio, which is now at plus one armor, plus two attack, is also not going to be enough. If we look at the supply, we see that this game is now out of control and in favor of Exile. GG. Well played by Exile from beginning to end.